Hey guys, I had a little bit of extra free time today. What the heck, that doesn't ever happen, I know. But I wanted to share with you my current schedule with the three kids. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. If you're new to my channel, I have three kids, three and under. So life is pretty crazy and living without a schedule I have found makes life even crazier. <laughs> so our day starts off pretty early. My daughter wakes up around 6.30 every morning and in all actuality, that is a little too early for me. I have never been a morning person, so that's a lot for me to take in. And she wakes up bright and bushy-tailed and ready to play with every toy in the house and ready to get all of her crafts out and be provided with lots of stimulating activity from very early in the morning. So I will bring her into our bedroom and I'll give her some fruit and then give her my phone so she can watch an episode of Mickey Mouse or something like that while I'm trying to feed Jude, take care of him. And that's kind of how we start off our morning. Ezra usually wakes up between 7 and 7.30. So around 7.30, 8 o'clock, we usually have what I call morning connect. You will hear me use this word connect multiple times when I'm discussing our schedule. And it's basically time for us to connect as a family connect on the same page as mom and child and siblings so that morning connect will happen around 7 30 8 o'clock and what we do is a prayer and devotional we have a couple books that we look through and we discuss and talk about and then we will also pray over our day if we have anything that we want to specifically pray for even if it's pray for your Cheerios that are in your bowl <laughs> we will do that then and then I also will ask them if there is one thing that they would like to do that day and it could be they want to go outside and play in the sandbox. They want to take a walk. They want to eat a fruit snack at some point. Whatever it is, I will ask them if there's something that they want to do during the day. Around 8.30 is usually when I am trying to get breakfast around. And that is when they are allowed to watch two shows in the morning. Now, two shows because they're on Netflix and they're usually about 20 minutes long. So it's about 40 minutes in the morning time. And that is time for me to put together their breakfast. That's time for me to pick up the kitchen, clean up anything that's hanging out around the house that shouldn't be out. I pick out their clothes at this time and it gives me just a little bit of extra time to get some stuff done. Now if Jude is crying or needs to nurse or things like that, you know, that's obviously going to take precedent. So this doesn't always go step by step by step because I've got three kids, three and under, which means I've got tantrums, I've got poopy diapers, I've got spills, I've got a baby who wants to nurse. I've got all that stuff to think about on top of my schedule as well. Around 9 o'clock, we get the kids ready, we brush their teeth, all that kind of jazz. Between 9.30 and 10 is usually around the time that we are leaving the house. So we're going to the library, we're going to the store, we're going to a play date. Whatever it is, we're getting out of the house. Around noon is when we have lunch and usually when I try to implement some kind of connect time in there I try to talk about the day Maybe we go over something that happened in the morning and how we could do it differently next time What was something fun we did when we got out of the house between 1230 and 1 o'clock is usually the time that I put Ezra down for a nap Fiona is fighting naps lately So she's just been having quiet time in her room and that is time for me to be able to film To maybe get something done around the house. I try to put Jude down during that time as well if not, I'll try to put him in his activity mat or his swing or I'll just wear him But I try to take advantage of that time as time for me because it's really the only time during the day that I get to myself Fiona usually will only stay in quiet time for about an hour So during that last hour around two o'clock or so I try to have some mommy and me time So we'll paint our nails or we'll read a book together or we'll play and we try to have one-on-one -on -one time At three o'clock usually all the kids are up and I try to do some kind of afternoon connection and that includes snacks because snack time is always important and then reiterating whatever Bible story or Bible verse that we talked about that morning and kind of weaving it through our day so in the morning time like I mentioned they will usually have something that they want to do during the daytime so this is the time that we usually will try to do that between 4 or 4 15 ish is the time when I am trying to get dinner ready get ready for my husband to come home maybe pick up the house a little bit pretend like everything has been in order and fabulous and I let my kids watch a show while I'm trying to get ready now I don't let my kids watch TV whenever they want all day long I don't let them watch however long they want to watch we have specific times during the day when they can watch them and I found that it helps me to not depend on the TV as a babysitter or as help with my 
kids and it also helps my kids to be excited about the times that they do get to watch TV and know that there's a start and a finish to it. About 5 o'clock, 5.30 ish is usually when we have dinner time and we try to talk during dinner. I try to make sure that the TV's not on. Because I have toddlers, sometimes it's insane. You know, they don't want to eat their food, they're throwing fits. Ezra's chucking food on the floor or on the wall. I'm trying not to scream or hyperventilate because it is so stressful when your kids don't eat their food. Do you guys ever feel me? And then it's like an hour later, they want a snack. <sighs> Drives me nuts. After dinner is usually the time when my husband will spend some time with the kids. I will go upstairs, maybe put some laundry away, clean up the kitchen, chill for a half hour or so, and the kids can play with my husband. They usually like to run around outside or go in the basement and wrestle around. But then we do all spend time together as a family before they go to bed. Maybe we'll take a walk or we'll go outside and do something. Around 7, 7.30ish is when we are doing baths and teeth brush, story time, you know, the whole bedtime routine. I like being able to put them to bed early. One, because they get up so early so they do need that sleep. And two, my husband and I get to spend time together and I look forward to my time at nighttime to just be Jamie, to just be me. And I really have found that my kids do a lot better when they have an earlier bedtime. So that is what our schedule looks like right now. Obviously I have to be flexible because my kids are so little and you know we deal with church stuff and maybe play dates with friends, we'll have people over for dinner. Obviously life's gonna change and it's not going to be like this every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you like schedules or if you just think it's cool that my family has a schedule. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to me I'd love to have you as a subscriber. You can click the subscribe button down below. I hope that you guys are all blessed and I will see you later. Bye. Hi, sugar bee. <laughs>